The Senate impeachment trial of President Donald Trump is now over. He was found not guilty on two articles of impeachment. The first article, abuse of power, the votes were 52 to 48 to acquit. Only one Republican voted guilty. The second article, obstruction of Congress, the tallies were along party lines, 53 to 47 favoring acquittal. News 8's Alicia Summers has reaction from experts. President Trump was vindicated about five hours ago, so there will be no sanction at the end of this weeks-long impeachment trial. Our political analysts weigh in on what's next. Donald John Trump, President of the United States, is not guilty as charged. There was nowhere near the two-thirds support necessary in the Republican-held Senate to convict and remove the president from office. This was dead on arrival in the Senate, and everybody knew it at the time this impeachment proceeding was initiated. Didn't the constituents of all those different districts elect those politicians to do something else other than try the president on articles of impeachment that they never believed were going to go anywhere? President Trump was acquitted of two articles of impeachment, abuse of power and obstruction of Congress, but he's still the third president to be impeached. The Democrats moved forward when it was not politically popular because they felt there was a moral imperative to use the impeachment clause to restrain this president, not just for the previous action, but also to stop him from doing it in the future. So what's next? The president's latest approval ratings have gone up to 49 percent. Celebrating a 49 percent approval rating is like celebrating ninth place in a beauty contest. It's not something that any president really would be expected to to cheer. The ultimate jurors are not the senators, they're the voters, and they're going to tell us what they think at the ballot box. Both sides are hoping that this impeachment trial was a lesson learned. Part of what the president has learned the hard way since he's been in office is that he can't just do and say anything he wants. Voters are looking at President Trump feeling good about the economy and feeling bad about his job performance, and that's because he's polarizing, and that's something he'll have to contend with in November. Trump is the third president to be impeached, but the first president running for re-election.